Hello, Prestige Heads, and welcome to American Prestige. I'm Danny Bessner here as always with my friend and comrade Derek Davison. And we're very excited to welcome back to the podcast Mark Ames. You already know, but Mark is the co-host of the Radio War Nerd podcast. Everyone, check it out. It is fucking fantastic. And Mark, according to your Wikipedia, you're also Jewish. So Mazel Tov, two Jews here. All right. Yeah. <laughs> let's try it. So <laughs> let's start with uh let's start with the most important question. Is yeah. Yevgeny Prigozhin alive? Or dead. That's so weird. My Wikipedia. I, I don't read it because Wikipedia scares me, you know. So uh, well, I've been I, forcing Derek to uh, submit yeah. a page for me for literal years and they keep on rejecting it. But he does it every day. So but hopefully it's like one day they'll go in. Jewish? <laughs> oh, I, you know, it's, it's like uh, the second line. <laughs> it's extraordinarily negative. You gotta negative know, you gotta know think, man. You know, people don't. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not objective enough because I'm I'm uh, very negative about Danny. So. <laughs> yeah, they're just like, fuck this guy. He sucks. He is forcing me standards. to submit this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what was the question? I was still, my brain is still like, oh shit, there's a Wikipedia page. Uh, is our friend Yevgeny yeah. dead or, or is there a chance that he's still alive? Or is there a chance he's a future guest, as we're hoping? <laughs> can we, is there still a chance we can get him on the show? There, there may yet be more hot dogs to be cooked in the future by this man. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I mean, you know, I thought about that too, because and, in fact, I, so I didn't have enough time, but I tried looking up because I thought in all my weird rabbit holes I've been down and through my years in journalism, particularly any story that still something spooky. I feel like there was an example of a story of somebody spooked up who everyone thought had died in a plane crash or something like that. And it turned out they lived or there's, you know, there's some stories about that. And, and, um, and it would make sense. But in this I case, mean, for a while there, every prominent like terrorist figure died yeah. like five or six times before yeah. they finally got him. So, yeah. Especially, I mean, the there's ISIS something ones, similar, right? yeah. similar to that. Yeah. But, um, the only way I would see that possibly happening would be Prigozhin himself with, I don't know, whatever few friends he might still have. And it's hard to imagine he has any friends with power who'd put themselves on the line for him anymore. Um, you know, said, okay, we're going to put these dupes on the plane and shoot it down, say I was on it. And I'm going to go to, to, uh, wherever Elvis and Bruce Lee are, uh, and Mr. Mojo rise and, and, you know, Shack up there, but um, uh, the, the Gen Z will love those references. <laughs> I love Derek and my references are always like Gen X, and I'm like, no one fucking listening knows who the hell, <laughs> who the hell is Jim Morrison. Oh my god, yeah, but uh, no, he's I mean, I think you know, we have to assume he's he's dead, but uh, but it's it's interesting the fact that we're talking about it. I talked about it yesterday, 